हे कार्तिक वॉट हॅपन्ड Why are you so upset? I want to work in a top IT MNC, but I have tried in most IT companies and haven't been selected anywhere. Don't worry, I have a solution for you. Visit Cloud DevOps Hub. It's a live online training academy where you will get complete step by step job oriented, job ready, IT development and operation training with 100% placement assistance. You will also get real time IT company knowledge from 15 years of experienced professionals mentored primarily on hybrid cloud including AWS, Google Cloud and Azure services with top 10 devops tool with practicals including multiple live multiple projects so that you will be able to work in any it organization from day 1 wow this looks great i was searching this from long back i want to know more and how it's different from other institutes you will be getting 24 into 7 community support by 50000 plus professionals fb group whatsapp community instructor led live training lifetime access to class training recordings documents ppt study material with live projects code repos tips and tricks for devops activity training certification interview preparation weekly mock interview and resume making This looks promising. Where I can get more info? You can also check the information of new batches and live online day-wise detailed syllabus learning roadmap at www.clouddevopshub.com. Additionally, you can watch previous batch placements, success stories, student feedback, live sessions and recorded lectures on their YouTube channel at Cloud DevOps Hub. The most important thing is that student who have studied at this institute have taken multiple offers and are now working in the top most IT companies with good packages so what are you waiting for register today at cloud devops hub to give a new identity to your career to register visit www.clouddevopshub.com hello everyone and good morning welcome to day 4 and as per the agenda as per the syllabus today we have supposed to be start linux uh, but let i want to check with my student uh, can i make this day 3 completely green because we have already discussed yesterday guys any comment on this we have discussed the 6c process we have discussed about the it operation people problem development problem as well as the devops solution with the help of tool right we have discussed the developer problem and the solution what is the actual problem why the devops is required as well as the introduction about the devops are you clear about this thing yes or no yes sir yes sir yes sir yes, okay cool yes, i'm sir. yep cool i'm making this part as a green and guys recordings are as always it is available in our youtube channel um if you will come down to my website here is the playlist for the batch 30 all the recordings are here you don't have to ask with me also okay 1 2 3 recordings are available yes cool and yep we have to as per the agenda we have to start the topic like next in the today's session here is the ppt for that um before going into the linux i would like to ask some questions why we have to learn linux we want to become a devops engineer we are coming here for the learning cloud but why we are learning that linux any question any answer here mm, to learn about the system admin role okay that's okay i agree with your point yep anyone else want to say something to the one i haven't understood that is because it is widely used for linux is a operating linux. system i agree but why we are learning this thing we want to become a devops engineer we want to become a cloud engineer we want to become a devops engineer but why we are learning linux as a part of uh, automation we will be doing shell scripting so linux is the basics for shell scripting okay okay i agree i agree guys you want to manage the servers you want to play with the servers right 
and all the servers are into the Linux operating system. That's why we have to learn the Linux. Simple answer. Okay. Cool. Before going into the Linux, I would like to ask some more questions. What is operating system? What is operating system? Operating system, it enables the hardware and application. It is works as a mediator. It is a mediator or it's a soft terms, uh, it's a soft terms, uh, system software. What will happen? We can connect any of the application can connect to the hardware. Let me show it to you. If you will see my this machine. Okay, this is my task manager from my machine. Okay, if you will see here, these are the hardware, CPU, memory, disk, Ethernet, Wi-Fi connectivity, GPU and all these things. These are the hardware. Are you agree with my point? This all are the hardware. In my laptop, yes. Yes. yes, these are the hardware, and these are the softwares or these are the applications, right? Zoom is the application, Chrome is the application, or some more applications are running in my machine. This is a hardware which has a CPU memory. This application is consuming CPU memory. How it is consuming? There is the mediator in between that is operating system. There is a system software which is the operating system, which will allow manage my application, uh, my system hardware or computer hardware with the help of resources, whatever the resources have, and it will provide the services to my computer program. What is this? Applications are my computer program. Okay. After that program can be used by the user. That's the requirement of the operating system. Without operating system, this application cannot talk with the hardware. That's why we need operating system in middle. It can be anything, Windows, Linux, it can be anything, but operating system middleware will be required to communicate to the hardware. Clear? Yes or no? Yes, yes. 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 Right. Let's go more deeper into it. Now the question will come, what is Linux? I will tell you, Linux is an open source, community developed operating system. When the keyword came open source, can anyone give me the answer? Why I'm calling this operating system as an open source? Why? Free, free to it's access. Free it's a free freely available. available. It's it a, is, uh, free to access, freely uh, available. Anybody. The code itself, the code of the Linux itself available over the internet into the GitHub place. Now the new thing came into the picture. GitHub. What is GitHub? GitHub is a place where all the code will be available can be managed by the multiple people. Okay. What is this? This is a repo. This is the owner. This is the owner's name. This is the repo. Why the public has been written? Because it is publicly available. Anyone can anyone can access with the help of this link. I will give you this link. Okay. In this link, what exactly is showing? Awesome OS. From the name itself, very clear, awesome operating systems. Means here in this page, lot of different different operating systems are available, which are freely available into the market. And you can download the code, you can edit the code. And if you want to sell it, you want to give it to back with the new features, you can do it. Okay. So I'm just going down. I'm just going down here in the popular operating system. One operating system, which I was searching, it is available here. So I am opening this, this link. What is this link says? In this link, my Linux operating system code is available. So my first keyword open source means code itself available over the internet that is known as open source with the help of GitHub. Agree? Everyone agree with my point? Yes, Victor. Yes, Victor. Okay. Now the second keyword is coming community developed. What does it mean community developed? There are some contributors are there, means community people who are developing this code, this operating system. At this point, 14,159 contributors, developers are available who is writing or who is managing this code or who has written something into this code. Okay, cool. If you will come down a little bit in the languages, in the languages tab, uh, Grish, mute yourself if you are not talking. This code, whatever the code is available, is written 98.4% into the C language. Assembly language is pointed. 
this many flavors of linux i will take care of linux i will take care of ubuntu i will take care of unix or what we can say sell a uh, um, little bit some more operating systems okay i don't want to give the name otherwise you will get confused okay but here are the lots of names are there whatever you like you can have a look into this place cool now my first line is very clear linux is open source the code itself is available into the github community developed by the multiple developers are there is a operating system for computers servers mainframes mobile devices embedded devices guys at this point mobile phones are coming with the linux operating system as well remember this point it has it supports almost every major computer platform including intel 32 bit intel 64 bit arm processor with multiple armd amd processors as well linux can support in all this platform and many more okay it is the widely usable or widely supported operating system. People are using it. Their support, if they are facing any of the problem, they can raise the issue into this place and they can get the help from this contributors. Okay. If you will see this contributor, if I will open this list, okay. As soon as I will click on that place, you will see a lot of contributors are there. If you will see from here, from the 2005 onwards, the repo has been created a little bit early. From the 2005 onwards, the code of Linux is available into this place. This person, Tiy, has committed 7,265 times. Means he did the changes into the code 7,265 times from the 2003 or 2004 onwards till now. This is the active person who is doing the changes. What changes he is doing? We can also click into this place. And we can check everything in 2004, 20 years or 19 years back, what changes he did. That also we can see. Let's see on the 5th of May, what changes he did. If you will click into this, if you will go into this class, if you will click into this link, if you will open the file, leave it. Let me go back. If I'm going into this commit, Whatever the things are coming into the plus, 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 green, 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 he is written that changes. We don't have to understand he is a developer. Okay. I'm just explaining what exactly the benefit of using the GitHub. Whatever the changes are there, it will be showing into the plus. If anything, he deleted the line. Okay. That will come into the right color. And whatever the changes he did, all the changes are visible here from the 20 years from the 18 years whatever the whatever the changes happen it can be maintained into this place this place is github agree all good mm, yes yes because cool let's come back the design of linux the design of linux is very similar to the unix now that you keyboard came unix can anyone here who can give me the answer what is unix it is also an operating system it is not open source Correct. It's a, it's, a, it's a one of the operating system which is not open source. Okay, cool. Good point. Guys, remember this point. Unix is not open source, not freely available. You have to purchase the license, then only you can use it. Cool. Okay. Now, from the idea of Unix, Linux has been developed. Okay, cool. Unix is also widely widely usable operating system, primarily into the enterprise, primarily for the supercomputers. Linux is the complete operating system which is run on the Linux kernel, as well as lots of hardware can be supported. The Unix as well as Linux flavor. Here is the repo. I am giving you this repo. Just explore, okay? Whenever you get a time, just have a look into this place so that you will be familiar a little bit more about the other operating systems as well. I don't want you to do any research here, but yeah, just have a look. It will be helpful for you. Okay. And here in this repo, you can see that some changes happened three days ago. 
some changes 12 hours ago some changes happen 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 eight months ago some changes happen five years ago so this is an active repo where the code is maintained or adding or deleting into by these contributors okay cool. now there is a very important question why linux is popular can anyone guy you can you, anyone from you guys can give me the answer why linux is very popular secured i mean uh, sort of uh, it cannot be hit with virus or something yep linux is secure you have covered my third point okay when we will install why we are calling as a secure now the second question will come because of the file structure i mean it, it's uh, uh... it has a file structure it doesn't support exe where lots of malwares or issues or viruses are coming into the exe files or msi files right and linux doesn't support at all so you don't have to worry about the virus related things cool very important point why linux is popular because it's freely available okay you don't have to pay any amount to anybody go to the repo download it and use it open source the biggest benefit is if you are aware about the coding okay which coding which language if you are aware about the c language you can download this code do the changes create a new feature and sell it also okay or you can give the feature to these people as well your name will be visible into this place that this person is the contributor developer for that part and i will teach you the github how to use how to give the code as well okay at this point i don't want to go into the coding part code management because i want to teach you the linux okay freely open source secure and the very important point is pending, which is stable and performance wise. If I'm talking about the stability, it's a long lasting. The versions are not getting changed very frequently. Performance wise. Now the second important point, performance. Can anyone explain me? What does it mean? The performance wise in this is the application uh, works as quick as possible. I Just Agree. I agree with your point. Yes. In and, Linux, uh, we don't have a UI support, so it, that it will, you know, performance will be get increased comparing Windows. I, I agree. Don't say that Linux don't have the UI. Linux has the UI. We are not using it. Okay. Yeah. Or in our company, we are not using it because otherwise we have to give extra CPU memory for the UI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's correct answer. Okay. We have to deal the Linux with the CLI. What is CLI? Command line interface. We have to put the command and we have to perform the activity. But still, my answer is the still, question is still open. What does it mean? Performance. Let's take an example here. If you will see my machine, in my machine, I have a 23 GB of RAM, right? Where this RAM is consuming? My RAM is consumed by the Zoom meeting or Google Chrome, right? Primarily, these applications are consuming my CPU and memory. Yes or no? If I will use the same software in the Linux machine, 2 GB RAM is more than enough. I'm here, I'm paying for the 24 GB or heavy CPU, right? But if I will use the Linux machine, we don't have to require this many heavy machines. Lightweight, 2 CPU, 4 GB RAM is more than enough for your application. That's why our applications are more reasonable reasonable hardware is required in terms of linux agree if i will take this much heavy machine into the real environment if you have to pay lot of money lot of rent right why windows is not usable windows is easy to use simple everyone knows it but in the in the production environment linux windows is not usable why because windows required high cpu memory hardware heavy hardware hardware is required for linux lightweight hardware is also enough that is known as performance cool yes or no yes yes correct yes now let's compare a little bit with windows and linux windows is the most popular operating system simplest operating system which can be used by any of the person who knows english if you know a little bit of basic English, you can use the Windows operating system. It doesn't require any special training. Okay. Windows, where if I want to install the Windows, it required the DOS. 
anyone here who purchased the laptop without Windows operating system or without operating system and install the operating system by own? Anyone here in this group? No? Guys, we have to do a little bit research into the hardware, BIOS, DOS settings. In our colleges, you never did. I was doing that part. Hello, I will tell you. When you will purchase a laptop, it will come with the DOS. Okay? Then you have to purchase the Windows operating system or operating system as per your choice. This DOS is again a black screen will connect you to the hardware. If you will put the Windows operating system, CD drive or pen drive, this DOS will understand that some operating system is going to install. So he will allow you to install the operating system. That type of setting will be happen into the BIOS of our laptop. Remember now? Yes. <laughs> right? What about others? Okay, cool. If not, research on this part. Okay, what is DOS? Okay. Cool. Uh, the Windows operating system is extensively a disk operating system. We have to install this on a disk. When the Linux comes, Linux is the most popular version of the Unix operating system. Now, what is Unix? Unix is the license version. I will explain you. Okay. Which is open source. Source code management is available freely over the internet. It designed very similar to the Unix. Comfortability functionalities are very similar to the Unix only. Okay. This is the difference between Windows and Linux. Linux is open source. Windows is not a open source. We have to purchase a license. Linux, Linux is more efficient operating system as compared to Windows. Efficiency is good. Performance wise is good. You don't require a heavy hardware to use the Linux. Lightweight hardware is also okay to use the Linux operating system. Windows required a heavy, heavy hardware. In Windows 11, you are saying that some people are not able to use the Windows 11. The reason behind it they required a heavy hardware okay linux use the backward slash okay linux use the forward slash sorry my wrong linux use the forward slash windows use the backward slash i will explain you no worries linux is highly secure as compared to windows windows is not secure we are not considering windows as a secure application okay that's why we are in the production environment we are using the linux cool now the question will come sir we are very interested Impress with the Linux. Now we want to create the Linux machine. This will, question will come into your mind. Mm, yes, sir. Right? Yes. 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 There are there are multiple ways to create the Linux machine. Very first approach with the help of virtual machine. We can create a virtual machine into the Google Cloud. We can create a virtual machine in AWS. We can create a virtual machine in Azure. Wherever we like, we can create a virtual machine and use it. This is the rented approach or cloud approach, right? I have some other approaches also where we can learn the Linux free of cost. We don't have to pay any rent or we don't require any credit card, nothing, okay? But first I would like to create the operating Linux operating system or Linux machine over the Google cloud so that you will understand that how the Linux machine has to be created or configured. Okay? I'm going back to my cloud, okay? Here, I will explain you how to create the operating system or how to create a virtual machine. I'm clicking on my link. What is this link? This link says that I would like to go into the Google Cloud with the project March 22. Okay. This is my project. This is the project name, which is showing here project name. And this is the URL of the console.cloud.com. Okay. In your case, the project name will be different. We will create it. No worries. I will teach you how to create a Google Cloud account. Okay. This is the home page of the Google Cloud. Here, my billing is showing. Here, some home page related things are showing. If I want to learn something, I can click in this place and I can explore by own as well. Some tutorials are available here. Okay. I'm going into this three lines. What this three lines to open all the services? Three lines will uh, you have to go into this three lines and all the services will be visible. Now, I'm interested for the compute. What does it compute meaning? What is the compute in AWS? I told. Yesterday, CPU and memory. Yes, I need a CPU and memory. So I'm going into the CPU memory engine that is compute engine. Here is the option, very first option, virtual machine instance. I click on this. I am landing into the virtual machine page. Okay, here at this point, nothing. It's completely empty. I have an option, create instance. I'm clicking on the create instance. And the configuration page 
to create a virtual machine has been open. Now here I have to do the configurations. Agree with my point? Mm, yes, we can. Very first step is coming. Give me the name. What is the machine name? I need one of your name to put it here. Please admit okay. and let me know the name. VM1. 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 But I need a human being name. Any human being name. Tipesh. Tipesh. T-I-P-P-E-S-H. Okay. VM1 Tipesh is the name I'm providing. Guys, at this point, I'm doing it very minimal configuration. Okay. So that you will understand the thing. This is the name of the machine. It will get created into the US data center. Okay. This machine will be created with the two CPU for GB RAM automatically by default, this option will be there. Okay. I'm creating a virtual machine of two CPU and four GB RAM. I'm coming little bit down. Here is the this option where I have a capabilities to choose my required operating system. At this point, the operating system is Debian 11. I'm not interested in this. I would like to take the most popular operating system. The most popular operating system is the Ubuntu. I'm going here and I'm choosing the Ubuntu. As soon as I will choose the Ubuntu, some version of the Ubuntu will come like Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 8, right? In Ubuntu also some versions are there. By default, 18.4 LTS version came. In every production environment, every environment must take the LTS version. The reason behind it, why we have to take the LTS version, you don't have to upgrade it quickly, okay? If you will use this version, at least for next two to three years, this version will be available, supported by the Unix community. That's why I choose always the LTS version. Okay. I'm taking the 10 GB size of the disk. If I will create a Windows, 10 GB is nothing. My operating system is of 16 GB, right? So 10 GB is very, very less. I can take 10 GB, 11 GB as per our requirement. Whatever you want, you can change it as per your choice. I'm choosing the 11. Here, the name, the size, Ubuntu operating system, CPU memory. Based on that, calculation happen for my monthly price. Okay, and I'm coming down. Do you need an internet? Yes, I need an internet into this machine. Do you want to host something externally? Yes, I want to host something externally. Some firewall related, I have allowed it. And as soon as I will click create, my virtual machine will be ready. This minimal setting will be required to create any of the virtual machine into the Google Cloud. Cool? Uh, because I have one dog that you have created, right? It's showing some pricing part in the right, right of your yep. screen. Yep. So it will like a free of cost or what it you're doing? It will be free or... of cost for you. I I already used the free trial multiple times. Okay, I don't have any new credit card, new Gmail address. So I'm paying the minimum rent. Okay, but for you guys, it will be completely free for the next three months. Thanks. Okay, no need to worry. My machine is ready. My machine has an internal IP, external IP, SSH. This SSH is the terminal. With the help of this, I, it will allow me to go to the machine with the help of port number 22. I am inside the machine in some couple of seconds. Some things are happening, transferring the SSS keys. Means how it is verifying that which user is coming. It is verifying because I have logged in with this user Vikas for cloud and Vikas for cloud has been allowed and went inside because he copied my SSH key, public key and private key and he allowed me to go inside the machine. Cool. At this point, okay. Till now. Yes, Vikas. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is my very first approach to create any of the Linux machine. Now, this is a rented option. In AWS also, there is a rented option. In Azure also, there is a rented option. I don't want to go again into the rented option. We will see in AWS classes, not now. Now, I'm going for the some tool, which is freely available into the market. Okay, You can download and you can learn basics of the Linux into this tool as well. Let's go here. I'm opening this link. The tool name is Mobile Stream. Anyone here in this group heard about this software, Mobile Stream? Mm, yes, because cool that's good anyone else is here used in the company linux people admin people support engineers this this should be your favorite tool okay because it can do the ssh activity vnc activity rdp ssh telnet forwarding plug support plugin 
12 connections you can made it one shot and lot of other options are there okay how to download it just click on this place it's a free tool you don't have to pay anything just click on the download two options will come portable edition installation edition if you will click on the installer you have to install it if you will click on the portable edition you don't have to install you can directly unzip and use it in your office laptop or anywhere i am taking the portable edition as soon as i click here the portable edition will be downloaded i want you to also download anyone from this group want to download let me know yes vikas yeah uh, rama uh, rama just open this link and i will allow you to share the screen so that everyone will see okay just download and keep it with yourself i will teach you or i will teach everyone what to do next okay i click here in the portable edition the zip file will get downloaded okay the zip file is downloaded let it get complete let it happen complete okay yes zip file has been completely downloaded i am opening my downloaded folder okay where is my download folder in this download folder this is the mobile stream zip file has been kept i am just unzipping it with any of the software you have extract software seven zip software whatever it is just extract it as soon as you will extract one more folder will be get created with the name mobile stream yes just double click on it the application of 16 mb is available here just double click on it and you are you can use it and directly free of cost no installation required just click on this start terminal as soon as you will click on this start terminal black screen came learn type any of the linux command i am typing ls i am typing pwd any basic linux command it is working into your personal laptop as well over the windows free of cost is that okay yes now i want from this group someone from this group has to do that part who is ready to do this part which i have did install and just oh, unzip and I'm, use it yes i'll just i am giving you the access rudra right who is that person nandini nandini okay i am um, allowing oh. you to share the screen uh, yeah uh, nandini share your screen it will be good and whoever want to ask the question please ask it because so, because i have already installed that's good <laughs> that's good don't need to worry yeah question please yeah so like uh, uh, like uh, you have uh, some sort of document which uh, which uh, has all these commands and what uh, they do I sort of teach, i will teach i am not teaching commands i am just uh, teaching how to install the software <laughs> commands will be in this ppt only by today only it will come okay yeah uh, you have downloaded the software just click on the download now on the free option yep it's a 23 mb or 26 mb software yeah portable edition guys do it parallelly please yep it i be. installed vikas this one that's good that's good Uh, it is working to, right it's working it's working we need to download this uh, 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 portable edition here right edition yes, portable edition why i am giving this portable edition because some student can use into the office laptop as well you don't have to be depend on the personal laptop okay. yep let it get completely downloaded open your download folder correct guys you are taking a time you are getting a time okay please do it also parallelly so that nothing has to be done after the class okay yep right click unzip it yep open with winrar anything is fine yes yep second for second file mobile screen just double click on it yep guys better download the seven zip software also it will be good okay click on okay yep the software is opening and just click uh, make a full screen whatever the theme you want black screen or white theme whatever you want you can choose it just click on the start local terminal 
and click allow run any of the linux command terminal is ready is that okay yes yes okay just type any of the command linux command whatever you know ls pwd or something basic command because any uh, validity is there for this like uh, we we can use it for x number of days no no free lifetime <laughs> okay cool that's good means now you don't have to depend on the rented service anywhere okay whatever i will teach you can learn basic things into this place as well when we will go to the advanced definitely the cloud or some actual linux operating system will be required okay cool. uh, thanks nandini thanks for sharing this anyone here facing the problem in the installation i don't think so cool i guys i hope you are able to see my skin right yes with us uh, guys whoever is not talking uh, jyotip nandini please be on mute background noise is coming okay uh, nandini mute yourself yep and guys i have another approach a playground approach what do you mean by playground what is what do you mean by playground where we can practice and it might be a simulator it's it's a simulator it's a simulator where we can practice you don't have to be worried about if anything goes wrong also right that is known as playground yes we have a playground option available i am going into my place in my chrome okay i am just typing in the google play g r o u n d d o c k e r okay docker is providing some playground to us the link is available on the top docker playground play with the docker i am not teaching docker i am just telling you to use the linux here okay they will provide you the platform just open this link start option is coming because i already have a account uh, free of account just click on the start as soon as you will click on the start it is reaching into the playground place okay playground will be open just give a little bit time look like it will is little bit slow mm -mm. yep playground is open do you think that virtual machine creation is tough anyone here can say that sir virtual machine creation is tough i don't know how to create the virtual machine i need a person who will say this point any fresher guys please say virtual machine creation is tough are you so no it's not tough right, it's easy it's very very easy how much easy just go into this place just click virtual machine created and it's up and running that's it it's not tough at all okay i have created node 1 i am cl clicking again one more time one more machine has been created right now practice your linux here whatever the linux command you know just type it and practice it here cool this is a playground approach you don't have to pay anything but the validity is 4 hour this session will be up and running for the 4 hour you can restart the session again and it will work or i, I personally i observe after 3 hours also it will be run it will never stop okay so you don't have to worry about it the link is labs.playwithdocker.com you can create, i will teach you how to create a docker account free of course you don't have to worry at all you can use this as a playground for the learning of linux in the docker classes we will use the docker playground but at this point you can use as a linux place okay uh, so like uh, i mean uh, i mean the same commands we can practice in both these places right like it's a linux uh, it's a linux, linux. It's a linux. Uh, linux okay i am giving you multiple options Ma this correct. is a cloud based approach or playground approach that is local software approach this is the actual approach actual linux machine okay okay um uh, because when i open this it's asking for me to log in okay you want to create a account chalo let's create a account okay i will help you out 
but I was thinking that we will create it later on. But let's create it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to display. I'm opening my incognito window. D O C K E R P L A Y E R O U N T. Okay. I'm just putting into the Google. I'm going into this link. Uh, whoever want to create it, I want to create one account in front of everyone. Can anyone give me your ID, uh, your email address? I need it so that I will create your account in front of everyone. You have to go into this link. Uh, just ping me into the chat. Ping me your email address into the chat, please. Yep, I got it. We have to go into this link, hub.dockerhub.docker.com, sign up. I'm giving this link into the chat. After that, uh, when I, I'm taking your ID, when I ready, don't create it, I'm creating for you, okay? It's Vinod, Vinod Vikas. Vinod, sorry, yeah, Vinod, okay? So what I'm doing it, I'm creating an account. I went into the hub.docker.com, sign up. Email address, I'm putting this email address. For the username, whatever before at the rate, I am just putting the username. I am providing the password. I am just giving it. I will give it to you back. Okay. I just provided some password. As you are very new, precious for this, take the occasional product emails. Okay. Announcement so that you will learn something new here. Okay. I am accepting all the terms and conditions. I am telling that I am not a robot. He considered that I'm not a robot. I'm clicking on sign up. Okay. As soon as I sign up, my account is created. Okay. I'm putting the email address again. Okay. Username or email, whatever you want. Continue. It is asking my password. I have created the password. I'm clicking on the continue. As soon as I click continue, account created. Okay. Now you will get a one mail. Uh, Vinod, check your email and verify your account, please. Yeah, one second. As soon as you will verify, this pop up will be uh, gone out from this place. Done. Done. Okay, cool. Now I am. I would like to use for the personal thing. I would like to use in my local machine Docker. This is related to Docker. You don't have to worry at this point. Unlimited access, unlimited all these things, limited scope tokens. I am clicking on the continue with free. As soon as I click on the continue with free, your email has been verified. Account created. Now what you can do it. I don't want to teach Docker. We will park it for the Docker classes. I am closing this. Okay. I am opening another this tab. Okay. I'm clicking on login. I'm clicking on Docker. <laughs> Sorry. As soon as I click on the Docker, when I read, when I, Vinod ready, authentication came. I just click on the accept. As soon as I click accept, the start option came. I click on the start. And with the Vinod account, I have logged in into the playground. Cool. Now I can create an instance like this. This is Vinod account. Uh, Nandani, you understood? Everyone understood this part? Yes, because I'm doing simultaneously. Yes, I'm giving a one minute break time so that everyone will do this thing. And I need a confirmation from two, three persons that you are able to create the account and able to reach into this place. Uh, I'm giving you the step. Go into this link, provide your email address. Okay. And Lucas, can you uh, ping me my password? Obviously, yes. <laughs> I will give it to you. Uh, you can change it if you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you paste that link in the chat? Uh, I already this... pasted. I already pasted hub.docker. Check the last link. Uh, we know I have given the link. Password. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, guys, I will give a one minute time, okay? Not beyond that because this is a one minute activity.
please create an account and confirm me. And if you get stuck, share your screen. Uh, at least one person who is doing that. Who is doing parallelly? Yeah, because I'm doing. I actually got uh, confused. Yes, sir, I'm the last doing. I will guide you again. Share your screen. Okay, I'm stopping my screen. Share your screen. Who is getting confused? Who told this point? Yeah, uh, cookies has to be uh, allowed. Yeah, that is yes, yes. Uh, is my screen visible? Yep, it is going to be visible. Yep, you have already created the account. Looks good. Yeah, I have yeah. created. Now, now what I need to do? Uh, now you have to go into the playground, search into the Google, Google playground, or if it's open already, search into the Google Docker playground. Uh, how can I remove this one? The above. Okay. It is fine. <laughs> yeah. Go to the yeah Docker playground. Correct. Open this link. Yes. Now you have an account with the help of account login it. That's it. Click on the login Docker. Any pop up came? No, no. Yep, it's already done. Click on the start. Background is automatically pick your ID and password. Okay. Now you reach okay. into this place. Click on create instance. Done. I have logged into yeah. play Docker Playground because that's good. Yes, one one people are uh, Palan also did. I need one more confirmation. Or I need one person who is telling that I have done. I'm facing. Okay, cool. Now I need a person who is telling that I'm facing a problem. Sir, so layer five playground or rackets script playground? Hey, Docker playground. Okay, Docker playground. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, I will give you the link. Okay, I'm sharing the screen back. Sir. See, guys, no. simple. You have to go into this place, create an account, and go into this and log in. That's it. Okay. Create a CCOUNT account here. Okay. And PLAY here. Simple. Okay. That's it. These are the two links which I'm giving to you in the chat. Um, Sir, so there is this name coming NS Heim slash Docker Playground. Uh, Ali Neutron. I'm, give, I'm giving you the URL itself. Okay, copy paste directly. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, because uh, I got a screen has welcome to Docker. Download the desktop application. No, we no, have no, no, no. Now you are done. Okay, your account created. Now go okay. to the labs.playdocker.com. And login. That's it. You don't have to go into the Docker. I will teach Docker. Then only you can go into that place. But remember, uh, we have already created the account. Okay. So shall I exit this page? Uh, you can you can go into my this second link. Okay, labs .play with Docker com. Okay, and use it. That's it. Oh. Uh, share your screen. Nandini, share your screen. I would like to help. Uh, first. Share the screen. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, that is okay. Open the second link in the another tab. Yes. Labs.play.docker.com. Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, no, no, don't type it. Don't type it. I don't like to type. I won't. I like you to copy paste, please. Because if you will type in front of everyone, it will take time, right? <laughs> um, uh, it's already into the chat. Cool. Lot of students has already done. I like that part. Uh, do you want me to give it again, Nandini? Uh, no, no. I just. Yep. Correct. Cool. Press enter. And don't use uh, what we can say this browser. Chrome is good. Okay. Yes. Click on down. Come down. Come a little bit down. Good. Good. Yes. Login. Okay. Yes. Click on the login. Click on the Docker. Yes. Some redirection is happening. Yes. You have to authenticate. Click on the accept. Cool. Do we also, sir, have to like add new instance? 
you can add it <laughs> uh, yes come now after like yep yep after that you can run the linux command that's it yes your okay, account sir. is created logged in add new instance yep now type any of the linux command this is a playground for you if anything goes wrong close this and uh, start it again that's it <laughs> okay yeah yeah cool yes i get a lot of comments from the student that they have completed that's good cool guys we have created the docker account as well in the today's class cool. looks good let me close this now i'm going back a little bit to my theory okay we have taken the first approach cloud approach we have did the local machine approach we have did the playground approach whatever you like you can use it there is a one more approach which is a hypervisor approach uh, with the help of vmware tool or with the help of oracle virtual machine tool i don't want to take this approach in the today's class otherwise it will be a complete confusing a lot of students will ask the question with me sir which one we have to use it i am telling you utm uh, utm means yeah, utm machine is also like used virtual machine yeah for the linux. hypervisor purpose right uh, but yes. uh -huh. there are some other options are available and giving you three four options more than enough okay first my first preference will be cloud approach okay because here you will get a pure machine in the google cloud you will get the original flavor of ubuntu in aws you will get amazon flavor of ubuntu i don't want i am not interested at this point amazon flavor i would like to teach the thing with the original flavor okay all the linux command everything will be same so i will prefer a google cloud ubuntu machine to teach you everything okay but you can practice in your local machine you can practice in your google playground wherever you want everything is same okay and this approach i will take it in the virtual machine classes not now cool after that there are multiple flavors are there like Ubuntu, Fedora, Main, Open, Debian, uh, CentOS. Out of this, Ubuntu is the most popular flavor available into the Linux. In most of the companies for the learning purpose, for the production environment, Ubuntu is the first choice. Second choice can be a Debian. Third choice can be a CentOS. Guys, I need your confirmation in your company, which flavor of Linux is getting used? Ubuntu. Ubuntu, cool, good. CentOS. CentOS, yeah, CentOS is also. Uh, Suze, yeah. CentOS, uh, like they use it. Correct, yes, I agree with the point. CentOS is also a popular one. That's Fedora. Why, Fedora, okay, yes. See, what I want to say that Mint, this middle, Puppy, CentOS, Arc, these are not usable. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are not usable in the company. There is no reason, okay, but Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian and CentOS are primarily usable into the company. So we have to learn this thing. If it's not usable, Mint, Mindred, Puppy, Zedan, Arc is not usable. You don't have to understand that part. Okay. Clear what we have to learn? Yes. yes okay, sir. Right? Mint yes, sir. is actually nice. Like the UI and the operating system. <laughs> That's okay. But it's not usable. But in they the don't company. use it. Yes, yes. Yeah. If they're not using what is there is no sense yeah. to learn it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because we are fresh mind. We have to learn the things where which will be helpful in our real time job. Okay. So yeah. I will go into that part only. Ubuntu, CentOS, my choice, and this is the IT choice. Okay. Cool. Now, in the in this, these are the flavors of Linux. There are varieties of Linux also available. Red Hat. Fedora, Debian, and other. Red Hat Complete Enterprise Edition. Okay. If you want to create a workstations, if you want to create the servers with the license, then Red Hat is Red Hat Linux is a choice. Okay. Fedora is also one of the choice. Some companies are using Debian also open source thing. Uh, Debian also open source thing if they want to use Debian is the choice and some other flavors are also coming like SUS Linux, SUSU, CentOS, Mint and other flavors are also available which will come into the other category. This flavors divided into the four forms, okay, four distribution. Red Hat Enterprise Edition, Fedora uh, is also a part of the Red Hat only Debian open source thing and others like other operating systems, okay. Yep. Now the difference between Unix and Linux, I want to tell. Unix came in 1969, around 50 years back. 
which we are going to learn now. Okay, Linux has been developed in 1969 by the Ken Thompson in 8080 Labs. Around 50 years back, the Unix came from that idea. From that idea, the Linux has been came and it was developed into the lab. So it's a licensed version. It has been developed by the open source people community. That's why it is open source and Linux came in 1991, around 30 years back. Okay, around 30 years back, the Linux has been developed, has been created. And from the last, we can say last 20 years, the code is maintained into this place. Before that, GitHub was not there. From the last 20 years, the code also available into this place. Whatever we are going to learn, these are 20 years old things which become popular or which we have to, which are using in the company. Don't think that this all, the, this all are the new things. This all are the old things. Okay. Cool. Now I want to give some more difference between Linux and Unix. Linux is open source. Unix is has been developed into the lab. Linux is free to available. Unix is always a licensed version. Some file extension in our when we will install the we will do the installation we will check the file extension in the linux ex2 ex3 ex3 these extensions are coming in unix these extensions are coming we will go not not required but okay and in the linux both has a gui support linux is also giving the gui unix also giving the gui but primarily in every organization we have to use the cli command line interface to deal with the or to play with the operating system Linux support bond shell, shell scripting thing come that is known as bonds. Here also it's a bond. Okay, means shell scripting will be same in both the Unix and Linux. Means command will be same into Linux and Unix. There is no difference in the command. Okay, all the command, all the shell scripting will be same into the Linux and Unix. Or if you will open it with the help of terminal, you will not able to see any difference. Okay. Some example for the Linux, Ubuntu, Debian, GNU, Arc Linux, and Unix has Solaris, SOS, AIX, HP, UX, Altrix. These are the Unix flavors which are using as an enterprise solution in our MNCs, in our companies. Okay. Is that okay? Theory part? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, guys, I would like to go into the practical from now onwards. I want to take or I want you to take two minutes or three minutes break. Uh, go for the washroom, fill full your, fulfill your water bottle because next half an hour will be a complete practical session. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because uh, can you share that Mobex term link? Yep. Actually, sure. mine is reconnected. That the message has no all gone. No worries. No worries. Here is the link. Or you can search into the Google. You don't have to depend on me. Okay. Search okay, into okay. Google <laughs> directly. <laughs> Download mobile stream. Yes, I given the link. Okay. And guys, whatever the code, whatever the things you want from me, which I have written into my notepad at the end of the session, please let me know. I will give it into the chat. Okay. You have to tell me. I will give it to you on the chat. Whatever you want. Cool. Uh, guys, let's take a three minute is enough. Yes. Okay. Let's go for three minute break. Okay. Or let's give one more minute. Okay. Four minute break. Please come back in four minute. Uh, putty is very same as mobile stream. Someone has asked the question. Putty is very same as mobile stream. Uh, sir. Does it uh, like opens in all the like uh, devices like MacBook also? Yep, yep. I will actually like, put it is I, not I, put it does tell. not install in my Mac. I will tell, I will tell. Let's everyone come back. I will tell. Okay. Okay, sir. You can also okay. go for a break and then we will learn. Sure.
I'm back. Time is up. I hope everyone is back. Just raise your hand. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. 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 Guys, ask the question. Uh, Prabhat was asking the question. Let's take the question and then we will go into that part. Uh, any question at this point? Can we start? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Cool. Okay. Uh, when we will do the installation, okay, and let's understand with the windows so that it will be good. Um, I'm going into my this my PC. Okay, in this PC there is a C drive. What is this drive? Can anyone give me the answer? The OS to be loaded in this C drive. Yes. All the OS related files will be available. Uh, install applications. Install it, installable application, which system has installed, which I have installed, everything will be available into this program files. All right. In the program file, install whatever the things has been installed, it will be available into this place. What is this Windows folder? Guys, in everyone machine, this folder is available, right? Components of that operating system. Components of operating system, right? Parts of the operating system, right? I agree. Cool. Chalo, let me go back. What is this bin location? Chalo, leave the bin. What is this user folder? Uh, like user folder means like which are the users. If, if like domain means which are the user has logged into their uh, that, right. uh, operating system. Yeah. In this operating system, my name is admin public default some users will be available here okay cool. i agree with your point you are a little bit aware about the c drive there is a c drive in linux machine also this is my linux machine at this point this till sign is coming this till sign means some till sign is coming here what does it mean home path home location you are into the home location oh. of the Linux machine. Okay, cool. At this point, I have logged into the user Vikas. I would like to become a root user. The command is sudo sudo hyphen i. With the help of this command sudo hyphen i, I will become the root user. What does it mean root user? What does it Vikas user? Vikas is the user who has been logged in. Vikas has a capability to become the root user. So with the help of sudo hyphen i command, I become the root user. After becoming the root user, I can perform any of the installation. I can do all the operation related, administration related activities with the help of this access. With the help of Vikas user, I can only do have some minimal access. But with the help of root user, I will get a full access to do all the activity in my this Linux machine. Agree with my first command, sudo i. Yes, Vikas. Yeah. Cool. Now, Still, I'm into the tilt location. Tilt is again a home location. This C drive is the, what is this location? This is a C drive location in the Windows machine. I would like to go to the C drive of the Linux. CD slash. What does this slash means? It's a root user. I'm a root user. I'm, I want to go into the root location. Okay. I'm a root user. I would like to go into the root location. So CD slash. As soon as I will give the CD slash, this tilt style become the slash line. It makes sense? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Mm, yes. yes. Now, what is tilt again? Can you ex explain it? Tilt is a home location. Home location. Okay. Understand. Okay. Now I'm into the root location. Okay. As soon as I become the root user, root lock, I'm into the root location. I'm typing ls means I'm I came into the C drive. This is the C drive of Windows. This is the C drive of my Linux machine. Cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, same thing I'm displaying into the UI uh, in the image also. This with the help of slash root, slash root, ls, and all the things will be a C drive location of my Linux. Here, 
some things which we have to understand. Very first, root user slash is a root location. Root is a user, root is a location as well. Both the things, okay? Don't get confused. How to become a root user? Either with the help of sudo hyphen i command, with the help of sudo su command, with the help of su command, you can become it. The full form of su is a super user. Means you will get extra privilege to perform the activity to become the super user. Okay. Or some people are telling that switch user, that is also fine. Change the user, switch user, that is also fine. Okay. Chala. Now, what is the ETC location? The very first folder is coming as ET lo ETC location. What does it mean? In Windows, there is a C slash Windows location is coming. C slash Windows location. Whatever the things are available here, whatever the things are available here, same thing will be available into the CD ETC location into the Linux machine. Means Linux related operating system related files folders will be available into the ETC location. Configuration location, configuration files. Okay. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Second point, bin folder. In the Linux, there is a folder bin. Where it is? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, here is the bin folder. What does it bin folder? Any binary files. Now the next question will come, sir. What is binary file? Can anyone give me the answer? What is binary file? Like executable files. Direct executable. You don't have to install it. If you want to keep any of the binary file in the line in the Linux, go into go and keep it into the bin folder. Okay. And in the Windows also, you can create a bin folder and keep it there. So it's a bin location. Executable binary location ready to run. No need to install it. Executable file ready to run programs as a binary file. No need to install it will be kept into the bin location. I'm following the best practice which we have to follow into the organization level. Third folder is user folder. Now you are very clear what is user folder. What does it mean? Users who are logged in. Users who have a login access. Like in Windows, we have a I have a three users. Where is the users? I'm going back in the users. This users are there. Some users will be available into the Linux machine also who has a capability to log in, to work into the Linux machine like this. Very similar user folder is 100% same as Windows and Linux. Temp folder. There is a temp folder is also there. Where is this? Here is a temp folder. What is this temp folder? From the name itself, it's a temporary folder. Right? If you want to do some temporary operation, you can do into this place as a good practice. You can do anywhere, but as a good practice, do the temp, do the this thing with the in the temp folder. This is a pressure level question. If you are a pressure into the Linux, this has to be aware about it. Okay. Now the next folder is dev folder. What is dev folder? Can anyone give me the answer? Give me the answer. Storage uh, related, SDA, program files related. Program files related, yes, I agree. This dev folder, whatever the things has been installed by you, by system, will be available into the dev. Same as in our windows, there is a program and file. Default folders. Default, default folders. folders of program files. Here, two program files are there. Why two? Can you give me the answer? One is 82, 86 bit and only 64, 32 yeah. bit. 86 bit is nothing. It's a 32 bit and 64 bit. Yeah. Okay. So 32 bit and 64 bit. Whatever the software, if you are installing some 32 bit software, it will be available into this place. If you are installing some software, which is 64 bit, it will be available into this place. Same thing in Linux. It will be available into the bin folder. If you will install anything, it will go into the dev folder. Okay. This is the file system in the Linux. I'm giving you the description. ETC is very similar to the Windows. Dev is very similar to the program file. Users is very same. Bin, binary files. Root is a root user. ETC, user is very same. Temporary, temporary performance, tem temporary activities you can do into this place, but you can do any place. Clear about the file system? Clear about the Windows file system? BIOS related thing will be available into the BIOS folder. D drive I created, it's not available by everyone. Dev, I have created drivers. Windows required a driver, so drivers will be available into this place. My camera, Bluetooth, and all these things. Linux doesn't require. If if something will be required, it will automatically be installed into the bin location. 
Vikas, can anyone be the root user by using like sudo command? Uh, not like, like okay, it's no. not like in that, the company right? they can restrict it with the help of user policy. Okay, but in uh, in our account, yes, you will be a yes. root user. Understood. Yes, you are clear about the C drive of Windows, C drive of the Linux. Yes or no? Yes. Because yes, because yes. Cool. Good. Now I would like to go more deeper into the Linux command. Okay, because Linux is nothing but it's a command. You have to play with the command, then only you will be able to understand. I am coming into my terminal. Okay, here is my terminal. My first command is the host name. Can anyone give me the answer? What is host name? What does it mean? The computer name. Name. name the name of the computer okay if i'm pressing here my computer name is vm1 tipesh which we have shown which i know into i can verify from this place as well vm name vm tipesh don't think that this command is only for the linux this commands are for the windows also if you will open the command prompt of windows this is my windows command prompt right yes 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 right? if yes, i run yes. this command host name this will give the answer here. My host name is DevOps. So it is giving that. Don't think that Windows is running with the UI only. If you know the commands, you can use the Windows with the help of command prompt as well. Commands are same. Cool? Yes or no? Yes. yes, yes. 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 Right? So very first command host name, I put in my Windows machine. The DevOps is the name. I'm, I get it. I'm closing it. I don't want to confuse you. I'm just closing Windows. Okay. Now we will go completely into the Linux only. And I run the hostname command and it get displayed. Now, second command, I would like to run hostname hyphen I. Hyphen I means IP address of the hostname. I will get it. What is this IP address? 10, 128, 12, 209. Let's verify that. I'm going here. 10, 128, 0219. It's an internal IP. It's an internal IP. What does it mean? Internal IP. Within a network. Within, within our a own network. network. Within a, this cloud. Within a, this Google cloud. Within a, this VPC. I can use it. Or anyone can access this machine inside the cloud. Agree? Now, Martia. Hengo months one to ninge. Guys, please mute yourself. Don't want... Please, please, please on mute. Okay. Internal IP for the internal communication. Uh, if let us assume 10 machines are there, they want to talk with each other. They can talk with the internal IP without going outside to the net. This is internal IP. Okay. Cool. Now I'm going back. I'm running the another command. The command says curl config dot me. Okay. I'm running this command. As soon as I will run this command, something will come. Let's see what is coming. At this point, some IP address again came. What is this command? Curl command means I am going to some website and I am running this. And I get the answer 35196361159. What is this IP? Let me verify. 135. External IP. External IP. What does it mean? Uh, can anyone get the public IP? IP. It's a through public pub, IP. Public IP yes. Correct. It's a public IP, external IP. With the help of this IP, external people can access my machine. If I will post anything here on the externally, you can access it over the internet. That is an external IP. Cool. Now you are able to understand the upper part. Cool. Yes, because okay. Now I would like to go a little bit deep inside it. I am running the command you name. Guys, no need to worry. You will be able to remember it. If you will practice it, 10 commands or 5 commands per day within five within 10 days or within 5 days, you will learn 50 commands and there is nothing more than 50 commands. Okay. If you will remember the 50 commands, you will be good into the Linux. And I will guarantee that you will be able to remember it. Okay. The next command is you name. If I am running U N A M E command and I am pressing enter, I get the answer that what is the U name? What is the flavor? At this point, it is telling I am a Linux flavor, but I am not satisfied with his answer. I need, I am telling that give me the complete detail, all details. So you name hyphen A. I am telling him, give me the complete detail. I am, I am running the command you name hyphen A. I am pressing enter. And now it is giving the complete detail. What is the complete detail? First, it is telling I am a Linux. I agree. This is my machine name is coming here. This is some Google cloud. 
version is coming okay some ubuntu related version is coming remember 18.4 version we choose it when we created the ubuntu operating system that detail is coming 18.14 for ubuntu related thing when it has been created all these details are coming 64 bit 32 bit whatever the things are there and this is coming to the gnu linux category so this information is coming now you can run this uname hyphen a command in any of your company in your company linux machine and get it what exactly flavor you are using it okay don't say only linux say that we are using the ubuntu linux flavor good be a little bit mature yeah okay cool sure oh, uh, um, because now now like suppose there is a uh, uh, question uh, saying that like uh, this you name hyphen a what does it list so uh, if provide all the information related to my operating system my operating systems okay yeah. my operating system plus little bit information related to the hardware and like all these commands and we are all these values we are getting that is based on uh, that particular vm now suppose we run the same commands in uh, this uh, oh, that value play. will be different value will yeah. be different huh. <laughs> value will be different okay based on the flavor these values are coming based on the operating system these values are coming i want guys i want you docker to docker playground we can't run this no way. docker you haven't installed it okay means in the playground you haven't did the installation right so this uh -huh. command will not work they will not allow you but basic some commands you can run it but still i'm getting it's not found uh, maybe they are not allowed okay? it's the playground so these are the administration related things you will not allow okay these are the administrator level that's why i'm telling we will require a good linux machine also so for this first we have to install that vm uh, no, I, will, I, will, I will teach in the tomorrow class how to create a google cloud account we will oh. create a google cloud account and we will do it Okay, at this point, uh, just understand the theory part. No need to. Max, we can try, right? Uh, can you repeat, Lavanya? Then, no, Max, we can try, right? This commands. Uh, where, where? Hello. Uh, so he's telling Mobax. Uh, Mobax team will not run this command because he will tell, "I'm not a Linux flavor. I'm just an emulator." <laughs> right? Yeah. These are the administration related. He is telling, "I don't have the host name." Right, you haven't given me any name, so I will not able to give you the name. But some command like ls, pwd, cd, whatever the commands I will teach now, it will work. These are the some administrator UI related. This primarily I took it for the cloud thing. Okay, now this command will run ls command. Okay, let's come to the ls command. If I will run the ls command, what all these things are coming? It's a listing. Okay listing of the things in my linux machine will be happening into this folder i'm into the root folder with the help of ls command all the things has been listed for me whatever is available with the ls command cool yes or no yes okay, okay. now like uh, in ls command like it will show only for binary or like uh, what uh, it means everything because... whatever files folder everything will be available into this location will be visible so how can we see that? you can see with the ls command this command in this list these are things are available in windows let me explain you with the windows i am opening the windows command prompt okay in the windows command in the admin folder whatever is available if i will write the dir command whatever the files and folders are available here it will be visible like this you can show in the ui also right you just can, show them yeah, you can, i can show into the ui also so it will be easy for them to understand no no i don't want you to be into the windows only i want you to teach the linux yeah this is understood it, it will show all the files and folders which are available in that directory yeah, correct. with the help of ls command we can list the thing Cool. Okay. okay just practice it okay whatever i'm doing it just do it blindly you will understand the thing okay run the command try to think it what i told remember it. you will remember it okay maybe this is the very first time you are seeing the linux you will get a little bit confused but i'm going very slow okay our level will increase slow day by day okay. no um 
<laughs> so in this labs play with docker right so i gave this host name and i'm uh, seeing there is some value it is getting uh, i mean it's showing some value so what that ip is, is that that is the host name ip host ip will be anything right see let me go into my playground mm, where is the playground no uh, like uh, it is the uh, ip of uh, the system the docker, i'm working see, I, I, ip of the docker machine okay ah uh, okay okay docker playground ip if you will go into any playground and you will ask the address he will give his address right at this point i am into this machine and i am asking his address so he is giving his address okay right cool and if i will run this command into my windows i will ask the windows address so it is giving the windows name that's it right? nothing is related to the local if you will run into this place nothing is local okay everything is into the cloud okay everything is happening into the linux machine yes okay cool yep now my next command is pwd okay what does the pwd command pwd the full form of pwd command is present working directory wherever i am running this command whatever is my current location he will give my current location is cd root i was working in a root location this all things are into the root location into the c drive so with the help of pwd command i can get it that what exactly my current location is okay got it as i am yes. a root user i run the pwd command and here it is also showing that root you are into the root location okay i am just exit at this point i am a root user i want to exit so i will run run the exit command and i become the vikas user again okay if i will run the pwd command and pressing enter now it is telling vikas this is your home location home vikas for cloud is the vikas location with the exit command i have logged out it happened into the windows also if you will run the exit command it will logged out okay and with the help of pwd command present working directory is visible here make sense yes yes okay at this point if i am typing ls in this location nothing is available it's completely empty if i will ask the question with you in windows you have to create a one folder how you will create a folder please help me out please teach me create directory huh? uh, i would cd like to... cd cd uh, folder my name. question is windows in windows i would like right to click on new folder click new folder yes i am going here click right click click on the new folder and the folder will get created i have to provide a name right i am providing a name batch 30 okay my folder has been created in windows machine correct yes what i what i have to do i have to right click click on new folder and provide the name folder created in windows machine in linux machine if i have to create a folder i have to give the command mkdir mkdir means make directory give the name batch 30 okay i am pressing enter as soon as i press enter with the help of ls command i can see that one folder has been created with the name batch 30 cool Yes. Now my second requirement is, I yes, would like, uh, because I have a small question. You are not going for that sudo uh, root to zero. This, this is okay. a very small activity I can do with my user also. I want okay. to do this activity in my folder. Sudo is for the administration activity. Well, only for the installation of any software we need to use for sudo, right? Rest of things we can if, use. If for, it's an administration activity, you have to be a root user. If it's a normal activity, you can do with the normal your user. Okay. Okay. Yep. Cool. Now I created a one folder with the help of mkdir command. Okay. Now my requirements. I want to go inside this folder. In Windows. how can i go inside this folder i can double click it and i can go inside this folder right yeah in linux how can i go inside this folder give change me the directory cd change directory. correct change directory Plus cd and... then file name folder Plus. name sorry okay cd folder name and press enter now i am into the batch 30 location here also i am into the batch 30 location right yeah in some couple of minutes back i told windows you need be using a backslash linux using the forward slash here it is using the forward slash here it is using the backslash got the difference yes i told something in theory i am proving the thing okay same thing i will told the theory i will prove everything into the practicals 
okay now here also batch 30 here also batch 30 now looks very similar right there is no much difference here i am playing with the commands here i am playing with the ui cool if i will type ls it's empty nothing is there now my next requirement is i want to create a one file into this folder how can i create it touch 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 is the linux command first tell me how to create it in windows <laughs> right click you right file. click right click go to the no, new file choose any of the software reset document okay give the name abc and press enter one file has been created correct in windows same thing if you want to do in linux run the command t o u c h touch a b c okay as soon as i press enter one file will be created how can i check it with the help of ls command i can check it abc file has been created abc file is available into the windows all good balancing till now similar yes I have yes, created inside inside the bash 30 folder, right? That touch changes. Here also I created into bash 30. Here also I created into bash 30. Okay, touch is the command to create a folder. Create a file. Create touch is a, a command file to in create the folder. a file. Okay. Create a file into the current location. It doesn't matter folder and all the things. Wherever you will run the command, it will get created. Simple. Wherever I will right click and open it and create it, it will get created, right? If I will right click and open it here, it will get created here. If I'll right click here and create, it will get created here, right? Okay. Same thing here also. If I will create, if I will go into this folder and I will create it, it will get created here. If I will create it here, it will get created here. That's it. Very similar, no difference. Uh, guys, do you want me to take more or it's enough for today? And we will do continue in the tomorrow session. Digestion is also required. So, like, how do we read the contents? Like, suppose I have a JPG file, and uh, I teach, how I do I? Open? I will teach the next command. Anyone knows if anything is written into this file? What is the command to read the thing? Open. Yep. What is the command? I can say it. Uh, cat or uh, be editors. you already you already given the answer with the help of cat command we can open the file okay i will teach it my cat command will come into where is this here is the to view the file i will teach it okay it's still 90 percent linux is pending only 10 percent we have touched okay in the next class guys we will complete all this linux command okay a remove touch and all these things all the linux command in the tomorrow class will be complete practical system administration related activities will be there okay after that whatever the user management im team is doing the activity that all commands i am going to teach to you into the tomorrow class okay i will teach you the linux networking related things also whatever the network engineers playing with the linux command i will teach to you into the tomorrow class plus uh, i will take care of some key generation authentication authorization thing also i will take care into the tomorrow class okay means day by day we will go more deeper into the linux sessions okay after that so many things are there we will go into the order okay permissions installation and cron job basic unix utility this related thing http request linux boot up system pressure level experience level questions and we will go more deeper into the linux day by day is that okay yes so we have at this point i would like to say we have we have learned how to create the linux machine okay and just run the basic 10 commands not even 10 commands we have learned this five command i am just giving into the chat as well so that you can understand at this point or let me take it from the linux machine only there is a one more command whatever we have learned if i will run the history command h-i-s-t-o-r-y and press enter whatever the command i have run into this place all will be visible into the order make sense so this 10 yes. commands I have run in some couple of minutes back. So I'm giving this 10 commands and I have, I was with the Vikas user, this 10 commands with the root user, sudo hyphen I, I'm just running the history command again, H I S T O R Y press enter and 10 commands I have run with the history user. So means 20 commands we have learned in the today's class. Guys, just digest this 20 commands in the, to, in the today session so that you will able to remember the next 20 commands in the tomorrow class. 
and we will cover up at 70 to 80 commands in the linux more than enough so uh, so these commands will be there in the history uh, forever or once we close the console it will be gone it will we will close the console it will be gone okay this is just your temporary history how, what you did it yes, okay yes. by mistake and if you run any of the command you want to know that which command has been run it will be we can check it from this page okay. cool yep uh, guys that's this it recording today. will be available in the youtube or like uh, will this be available in the drive like today's recording also will be available in youtube after that nothing on youtube okay so the presentation will be available then in uh, the drive in the drive yes okay. uh, not see today's presentation is just 20 commands right yes, yes, yes. let i given the command into this place yeah, yeah. it will come into the private drive okay as soon okay. as the topic will get complete i will give it into the drive no okay. problem yeah cool <laughs> and today recording also will come into the youtube after that no. so this is the last i guess <laughs> this is the last demo free session we can say okay no problem okay yeah cool thanks uh, okay. yeah how was the today's session able to understand Yes, interested. Yeah, it interested. was actually good. Like, yeah. guys, you will learn day by day. Okay, simple because I don't want to teach everything in one day. I can't. Okay, every day we will learn and we will be go into the good shape. Let's go to the syllabus. Uh, in the today's thing, what we covered: Linux overview, history, importance of Linux, popularity of Linux, Linux architecture, shell, open source tool, open source and GitHub overview, Linux system hierarchy. We have seen it. So I'm just making this as a green. Okay, this whole part we have making it. Plus, uh, we have created the multiple ways of created the Linux machine. That's it. This part only I have taken care into the today's session. Okay, so I'm making it green. Now we will understand more into the users into the tomorrow session. Uh, I will write it here. Um, plus around twenty commands we have seen. So I'm just writing ten. L I N U S Linux B S I C C O M M A N D S. We have completed right 10 commands. We yes. have learned in the today's class. Tomorrow again, we will learn 10 or 20 commands. I will write it 10 20 commands. Then at the end, in the next one, next week, on Can you please share this sheet with us. Which sheet? This training sheet. This one schedule. Yes, oh, yeah. schedule. This. this is already in my website. You don't have to ask anything with me already in my website. Go here, click on this link, so complete syllabus. It is already there. <laughs> okay. Sure, recording, got it. Thank you. Yeah, recording will also be available in the YouTube only. You don't have to ask me. Some students are asking, sir, where is the today's recording? It's already there into my website. Go into this place. Recording will automatically come into this place day four. Automatically. You don't have to worry. Okay. Today, 8 p.m. IST, it will automatically run into this place. Must watch it. Going forward, like, uh, like, um, are you giving me uh, like uh, some sort of uh, the task and all, like, or yeah, definitely, uh, whatever we are doing, it do the same thing. That's it. You don't have to learn anything new extra. I will take beyond that. Whatever I am doing, it just practice that much. Today class is also little bit tough. Tomorrow will be little bit more tough, and then our level will get increased. And because like tomorrow uh, you can help us to create that GCP account. So yep. we can, yep. uh, yeah, we let's can create a this. guys, let's yeah. create a GCP account in the tomorrow class. Be available with your prom primarily Gmail ID. Okay. Your Gmail ID pre request should be, it's not like funky donkey kind of thing. It should be your proper name. Okay. Because Google cloud will not approve automatically. If it's a, some cool dude, ABC one, two, three, they will not approve automatically. Okay. They will ask you what who is the cool dude? Can you give the identification for that? Give the Aadhaar card, give this name, and it will be a problem. So your email address should be your full name, first name, or it can be not a complete cool, but first dot last name. Okay, so that it will be automatically verified. Is that okay? Take the email address which is a decent name, so that it will be automatically approved by the system. I have my AWS account, so I can run the Linux machine and test it there. Right? Like I can use it while Definitely, this, yes. this topic yes. for this topic. Yeah. Yes. But you will not become a multi-cloud engineer. You will no, become not for now. Engineer. Not for now. <laughs> once I once we start with Kubernetes and all, I'll I'll open the Your cloud. Choice. Your choice, guys. You are feel free. Okay. 
okay but yeah only primary requirement this email address should be good very straightforward simple and the credit card c r e d i t credit card will be required which will cut 1 rupee okay or 2 rupee for the verification 1 or 2 rupees okay for the verification and it will be refunded that's it okay if you have this thing we uh, uh, debit card is no it is not uh, debit card if you are very lucky it may work if you are not lucky it may not work but 70 to 80 percent cases it may not work 30 percent some banks who have allowed the transactions into the international thing that time it will be allowed because yes, only in aws it does work the credit card in aws it works for 70 80 percent but in google cloud it's so, uh, for the visa card it does work uh, I can't take the responsibility because no, no. for friend, AWS, I'm not sure about GCP though. Uh, in AWS, yeah, I'm telling 80% time it works. Yes. Okay. In Google Cloud, 20% time it works. Okay. So I'm telling that it should be a credit card. Then Google Cloud is only three months free, right? It's a three months free of cost. Okay. Three months means what exactly it is? You will get $300 in the account, which mm -hmm. is equivalent to 22,000 rupees. Okay. You will get it in your account with this one rupee, two rupee verification for the learning purpose. Whatever you will create, it will get detected from this amount, which will come automatically free of cost to you. You don't have to worry. Okay. And tomorrow we will discuss more about into the Google Cloud account creation. And then we will go into the actual classes. Fine. Because one final thing, like say, uh, like uh, I give a, a valid uh, this ID and all that, and post three months, uh, uh, like say I use one different ID. So will that work? You can from the last seven to eight years, I'm doing the same thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean this. Uh, I mean we cannot have uh, so many credit cards, right? So that might validate. No, same credit card will work. Okay, with multiple email address. Okay. Okay. A small trick kind of thing you can use it. Okay. But I can't take the responsibility or guarantee that it will work always, right? But sometimes it may work. Okay. Because I'm also using it. I was also doing earlier. Okay. Okay. And guys, a small request. I will teach it. Whatever you are learning it, if you are done with the learning, delete the instance. Okay. Delete. Just click on the three dots. Okay. And you will get an option delete. Click on the delete, delete, and the machine will be deleted. Okay. Make a habit, whatever you are learning, learn it and clean the resources. Cool? Yes. Yep. And I hope you are very clear about the tomorrow agenda. We'll go more deeper into the day four, day five. Okay. Plus, we will see some more administration activities. We will create a Google Cloud account in the tomorrow class. And pre request will be this uh, email address, credit card for one or rupees, two rupees transition. And you will get this thing automatically in your account. Cool. Yep. That's it for today. And if you this need this link, I'm giving this link into the chat. Going forward, in some couple of days, I will teach you the GitHub. So all the links will be come into the GitHub automatically. That's it for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vikas. Yep. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, thank Just you. Thank you, sir.